perturbed. Um, out in the show me state, do people get perturbed or do you guys have a different word for that? <laughs> well, gobsmacked. Uh, I mean, I think the lawyers that are watching this and particularly the other federal judges that are watching this are all like, what in the world? I mean, this woman has a serious case of robitis and robitis is a disease that inflicts a federal judge. Once they get the lifetime appointment, they forget that they are accountable to anyone and even not accountable to the people who appear in front of them, the lawyers who appear in front of them. But, I mean, let me give you an example how, how, how nuts this is. Uh, people file a friend of the court brief many times on various issues. Typically, they are only looked at and potentially may be argued at the appellate level. This woman, on an issue that has been litigated over and over again about the constitutionality of a special counsel, she's letting people who file briefs come in and argue in front of her, like she's a Supreme Court judge or something. I mean, it's just not, it's just beyond weird. I mean, no question, it, it looks like she's in the tank. It may turn out that she's not, but the appearance of impropriety here, not just with her timing, her failure to act, but the ruling she's made. And as Andrew says, when you get reversed twice by a really conservative appellate court, you start paying attention because no judge, no judge likes being reversed, even one who doesn't know what she's doing. Uh, David Jolly, I, I, I come to you as the, the, the I believe, the, the sole Floridian.